Well, Jimmy, from sea to sky, it's almost time to celebrate the animals, the art, and the activities that make Delmarva so special. Yes, the Waterfowl Festival is almost here. Please join me in welcoming Executive Director of Waterfowl Chesapeake, Margaret Inlow, to Delmarva Life today. Thank, Thank you for Lisa. joining us. All right, so the festival is known as an ultimate experience for sporting and outdoor enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh, there's so much for really every audience. We have three primary venues. We have uh, incredible art venues, five art galleries downtown. Um, the middle, East and Middle School is our artisan's gift area for families. And then our sportsman's pavilion and calling contest are out at Easton High School. So really, there's, there's something for everyone at the festival across the board. Yeah, and um, it kicks off Thursday with a premiere night. Correct, and my mother always told me that you should always bring gifts to any party. So I brought you a little premiere night. These are our VIP chocolate bars that oh. we're handing out with our featured artist piece on the front. So one for you, one for Jimmy. Thank you so much. So people who show up for the premiere night will get one of those. They get a gift bag, they get, um, and what they really get is they get an advance to preview all the art galleries. Um, we get about 15,000 people to town, so it's an opportunity for some of our returning customers to come when it's a little less crowded. Sure, sure. Now the actual event uh, kicks off on Friday and right. you have uh, featured artist Julia Rogers. Tell us about her. Sure. Um, Julia is an Eastern Shore local. She's been um, participating in the festival since almost she was small. Her father actually was a volunteer and she actually met her husband, fellow artist Matthew Hillier, at the festival. Um, but she travels the world doing wildlife art and that really is the focus of the festival. If you look back to our history, the first program, we're really about wildlife art, even though we say waterfowl. It's always been more comprehensive than that, but the waterfowl piece is because we're really dedicated to waterfowl conservation. Mm -hmm. So I love the fact that all the stories on the show today so far, um, or the stories on the show today have been about art and the scallops, you know, the yeah. restoration of scallops, because really we're about the restoration of waterfowl habitat. It all goes hand in hand. It does. All right. Unique so to Delmarva. Another thing we like to talk about is uh, wine and beer, and you have a pavilion for both. Sure. One, uh, I think probably the beer, wine, and food is probably what brings a lot of visitors out. So we mm -hmm. have traditional Eastern Shore Fair. We have a tasting pavilion, and we don't just call it a wine pavilion because you can get other local homemade goodies in there to eat as well, but Great Frogs Winery, Eastern Shore Brewing will all be in the tasting pavilion uh, as well as some, of the, some other ones. One of the new features actually is that we will have wineries in each of our, uh, excuse me, in three of our art galleries for the whole weekend actually oh, this okay. year. And then we have a beer garden out at the Sportsman's Pavilion. And a new activity we have out there actually to highlight the beer garden is called Yappy Hour. So it is a dog-friendly happy hour from oh 3 to 6 goodness. on Friday. Yeah, it, it's going to be entertaining. We'll and see what happens. I'm glad you brought up the dogs because one of the most popular events that you have, of course, is the Retriever mm -hmm. uh, and the Doc Dogs. Retriever trials and the Doc uh -huh. Dogs. Um, we do the Retriever trials at one end of town, and that's really to demonstrate what hunting dogs can really do and just incredibly how incredibly smart they are. Mm -hmm. Doc Dogs actually is its own nonprofit organization, and they come every year, and that's a big draw just because it's fun to see everything from you know, teeny little dogs that hate the water run up and then stop at the edge and then they don't jump and then there's I think a competition, I think maybe it was 25 feet the the champion dog went. I mean, wow. Jumping off the platform into the pool, so it's always entertaining. It is very entertaining to see. Okay, and goose and duck calling contest. Yes, we have uh, I think one of the longest running calling contests at least in the mid-Atlantic region. Uh, we have junior competitions, we have senior competitions, and then the world goose which is the creme de la creme. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that we have added a kids calling clinic this year with a champion duck caller and a champion goose caller coming in to teach kids how to do calling. Oh, so they could come back next year and be in the competition They perhaps. could because we have the junior level, so got to get them started somewhere. That's right. Okay, so you personally, what's your favorite part? of the waterfowl I was, festival. I was trying to think about how I would highlight that. I think one of the things I like the most about the festival is that um, it is really um, this icon of Delmarva culture because it's not just all about art. It's not all about hunting and traditions. You know, it's really about families, art, hunting. I'm, I'm eager to see how the kids calling clinic goes. I might, it might be a little loud. <laughs> um, but you know, some of these new events and activities, and I just love the people coming to town. I yeah. just love seeing everybody in town enjoying themselves. And I think it's the Eastern Shore hospitality that we offer 
um, for the event that makes it really so engaging. Sure, sure. Okay, so let's go over the event sure. details. You have your prevent, uh, your premiere night, that's Thursday. Yep. And then the festival kicks off on Friday? Festival kicks off on Friday. All the details are online at waterfowlfestival.org. Mm -hmm. um, you can purchase tickets online at waterfowlfestival.org. And a couple of our after hours events have small ticket prices as well. Those are all available online. So the festival is 10 to 5 on Friday and Saturday and 10 to 4 on Sunday, November 10th, 11th, and 12th. And various locations in Easton. Correct. And right. every, the map, everything you can need is online. All right, Margaret, thank you so much. Thank Sounds you. Sounds like a great time. And, of course, we have all that information on our website, domarvelife.com.